Hello my lovelies, happy happy Wednesday. I hope you're all okay. I hope everyone is well. Um, I'm having a lovely day, thank you. Um, thank you for all your birthday wishes. It's been lovely, thank you. It's uh, I've uh, been at work and uh, not doing anything special, but yeah, yeah, sometimes that happens, doesn't it? But uh, I'm talking to you guys tonight, so, um, uh, and Josh has just uh, ordered, ordered us pad thai for when we finished, and it's one of my faves, so I'm looking forward to that, which will be nice. Um, hopefully everyone is all right, weather's all good. We are going to crack straight on with it tonight. I haven't got any major news. There is some new stuff that's come into the shop, um, which um, we've put some of that on the website already. There's some beautiful, beautiful new Christmas stuff um, which has come in, which is yummy. So, um, but I'll post some links to that tomorrow or something. Uh, we're ready for the van to come tomorrow so we can go to Ponty Patches and get set up for Friday and Saturday. So yeah, all good, thank you, all, all good day. So um, there's quite a few of you coming online, so we're gonna crack straight on. What we're gonna be doing tonight is, and I'm gonna flip over to the, on uh, the um, hi Eileen, hello my love, uh, overhead is one of these little pouches it's called i'm calling it a mwah pouch because it's got a, it's big kisses for everybody <laughs> um so what we're doing going to do just a really simple little pouch but it's got this um it's got a vented pocket on it okay so the whole idea of this is the lips this is a whole pocket in here you can get your hand in there got a little pocket for keeping extra well, I don't know, sweeties or tissues or anything in there, all sorts. So I'm going to show you how to do this um, this vented pocket and then we're going to turn it into just a little little zipper pouch. But I found this method last night because I don't know about anybody else, but my well, normally when I do zips, it all gets, I get, a hot, this is messy. I get a really horrible bunchy bit just here. Um, but um, I found this method last night, so I thought I'd show you that as well because it's it's come out really nice and flat. It's worked really well. So this is what we're going to do tonight. Let's say hello to everybody. So, oh, hang on, let me just whip back a second. Uh, hi, Joyce. Hi, Helen. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Maria. Um, who else is there? Uh, hi, Helen. Oh, hi, Marion. Hi, Ali. Hello, my darlings. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, who else is there? Uh, hi, Claire. Hi, Cheryl. Lovely, lovely. Lots of you coming online. Hello, my darlings. So, what you're going to need for this little pouch, this size, but you can use this method on any size, okay? Um, I've, I've cut some fabric. I'm going to do it in these two tonight. So, I, you want two outers, which are 10 inches by 7 inches. Two linings, which are 10 inches by 7 inches. You want a little piece of interfacing, which is approximately 4 inches by about 7 inches. And then you want two pieces, two rectangles. I've already prepped one, so I've got one here at the moment. To, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Thank you, Natalie. <laughs> hi, Melba. Hi, Claire. Hi, Leslie. Completely. No. <laughs> right. Let's quickly go through back that again. So two outers, 10 by 7. Two linings, 10 by 7. Um, I have put this onto a template with all the fabric measurements as well. It's on the website um, as a digital download. I've done the camera now. Hopefully it caught up, guys. <laughs> um, we've got a little piece of interfacing, which is just a bit bigger than the template. The template, again, like I said, I've put it on the website. Um, and then you want two lip pieces, which are three inches by seven. Okay, so I've got two of those. You also need a pocket piece, which is seven by seven. And you need two little zipper tab pieces, which are one inch by one and a half. Okay, so, okay, hopefully we're all on the right camera now. <laughs> so first things first, we're going to, uh, we're going to put the lining and the lips and all separate. I want one of my outers, like this. Okay, and what you're going to do is, you're going to find the centre. So just find the centre line like that, just finger press it, like that. Oh, okay, hang on, what's going on? Who's, uh, sorry, two seconds. Uh, oh. That's right. It's fine. Um, and then we're going to measure down two inches. OK, so I just want to measure down approximately two inches and make a little mark on the on the right side of the fabric. Hi, Lindy Lou. Hello, my darling. Hi, Nikki. And then I want, you want a piece of stitch and tear or for interfacing. Now, interfacing, obviously, this is a fusible. You've got a glue side and a non glue side. OK, you want the glue side facing up. All right. And I'm going to find the centre of that. And just line that up with that two inch mark which I've now lost. <laughs> Where's it gone? Where's it gone? 
there it is <laughs> there just there okay and you want to line that center line up about there okay so your interface is roughly in the center i've done a little lip template like i said it's on the website again fold that in half and you want that to be on the two inch mark in the dip of the lips like that okay so you want the dip of the lips line up the central line dip of the lips in like that pop a pin through all of it just to hold it all in place so it's nice and flat and then we're going to draw around the template so how are you all are you all had a good day any bit up to anything interesting hopefully you all have had a lovely lovely day so I'm just going to draw around this lip template. You doesn't have to be a lip shape. I just did it as a lip shape because I thought with the vent it looks like lips. So it could be a little heart. It could be anything this, okay? Take that template off and then just pin down the interface in. So we're going to put a pin there and a pin there. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stitch around that line, okay? So we're going to take it over to the machine. It's freezing there. Oh, is it love? Oh, bless you. Oh, sorry, two seconds. Right, is it over on the machine? Hopefully it is. <laughs> sorry, just got blown my nose. <laughs> Snuffly. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is, um, first of all, I've just realised I've still got my zipper foot on. Let's just have that off for a second. That'll be later. Put my normal foot back on. Uh, and just change that one over. Uh, one D, there we go. Okay, and put that back to the centre. There we go. You also, I would reduce your st my stitch length right down to sort of like 1.5 on this as well now, okay? I want to go right down low to about 1.5. You're going to be manipulating this in a minute, so you want a nice short stitch length. Ah, oh, hi, Lindy Lou. Thank you, darling. <laughs> there we go. So, I'm going to stitch around this little line all the way around. I've seen my sister. She came over to see me, which was lovely. Uh, my Drew's just turned up with Beth as well, so oh, thank you guys. <laughs> Hi Margaret, how are you, love? Um, and then we're just going to follow that drawn line basically all the way around. And the reason I've got the glue on the top at the moment will become obvious in a minute, okay? So I'm just drawing around that line, sewing, not drawing, sewing down that line. Just have a little stitch in there. Uh -huh. Hope I'm doing something special later. No, not today, lovely. We, we're going to do something at the weekend. I think Phil and I are going to go out for food on Saturday. Um, he's up in London. Um, everyone's working and stuff. It's a Wednesday. It's a difficult day, isn't it? So, um, and I'm a big girl. It's fine. <laughs> um, Josh is um, has ordered us pad thai from my favourite Thai restaurant. So once this is finished, we are going to. Me and Joe are gonna have a go and have pad thai together because it's my fave. There we go, round there like that, nearly back to the beginning. And stitch round, okay? So this is special anyway, Claire. Spending some time with you guys is special. I don't mind doing this. <laughs> It'd be different if it was a Saturday night and I was choosing to do this rather than going out and do something, but yeah, you know, it's a Wednesday. It's not much a, not much you can do on a Wednesday when everyone's working. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do is now cut out this centre section, leave about an eighth of an inch um, sort of seam allowance, okay? So make a little snip and then we're going to cut it out. Oh, actually cut both out, not just the interface. I want to cut the fabric as well. There we go. And cut out all the way around like that i am going to see sarah millican tomorrow uh sean got us tickets so sarah and i are going to go and see sarah millican tomorrow night so i'm looking forward to that i love live comedy it's something that phil and i do a lot um so uh so yeah ah oh, thank you louise <laughs> there we go all the way around like that okay and then I'm just going to clip into all of these curves okay so you do need to clip in try not to clip your stitches but you're gonna have to bear with me just a second while I clip all this so I thought in honor of my birthday we should do a challenge post as well 
Um, so when we come off air, she's funny. She is funny. I, I, we, I really enjoy live, live comedy. Um, we've, I've seen a lot of comedians live. It's something Phil and I go, go to a lot. It's our like little treat to go and get tickets for something. And, uh, it's very, I think it's very different seeing a comedian live and you get the atmosphere and all as well then, don't you? But, um, yeah, I like Sarah Millican. I like, I've never seen her before. Sorry, excuse me. I'm very snuffly as well. It's because Scout's here and he's shedding like no one's business and makes my nose tickle. Right, there we go. Nearly got it all the way round like that. Okay. I'm then going to shove all this inside. So it's like doing reverse applique. Okay, so I'm just going to move this out of the way because I'm going to need the ironing board a second. There we go. And I'm going to shove all this through, all that interface in through to the back like that now where the little inverse bit is here at the top of the lips you've got to push that out so get your finger in there and push that out and then tuck everything in okay and then you just want to roll that seam get that seam nice and neat it looks a bit of a mess at the moment but it won't in a second okay so you've just got to get that push pull that interfacing back come on that's it Give it, doing that, giving that sort of wiggly motion definitely, definitely works. Okay. So how, uh, at least he's not in the bin today. <laughs> no, uh, Josh and Drew and Beth are sat in the front room. So hopefully they're keeping an eye on him so he doesn't get in the bin, little bugger. He got it everywhere. Honestly, it was everywhere. Turn it around to the back like that. And now the glue side is actually facing the wrong side of the fabric which is means that when we iron this it's actually going to fuse that down now which strengthens the whole opening there we go there we go oh, that's pulled a little bit there come on just give that good good iron oh sorry my nose has suddenly gone really snuffly excuse me there we go sorry you're gonna to have to put up with me tonight i'm afraid i'm extra snuffly if i've got sarah's cold i'm not gonna be happy <laughs> i'm just gonna just tuck out because that's not quite turned as i wanted it so let's just push that out there we go that's better and what you've got although is that sort of oh Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. I'm suddenly starting sneezing terribly. As you've got that lovely lip shape. Sorry, guys. Oh. <laughs> oh! Why is that suddenly starting? I've been fine all day. Okay, right. So, what we've got is that little, little lip shape, which is going to be the pocket. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness don't start please don't start i'm going to put that aside for a second and then you're going to take your two rectangles which are three by seven um and you're going to fold those in half salt spray helps oh hey it's been mad today sneezing ice stream my eyes have been streaming all day actually but yeah literally in the last 10 minutes i started you like I do like the way you talk because you work ah, all the time, Joyce. I'm terrible. <laughs> Come on, behave, be nice, be nice. <laughs> so you're gonna fold the like the little lip vent bits just in half, like that. Okay. One of them you're gonna leave like that. The other one you're gonna sandwich the pocket piece in there, like that. Okay, and then just top stitch it in. So you've got the pocket piece attached. And then we're gonna put this behind the lips. So the one that hasn't got anything attached is going to be on the top. And so I'm going to line that up along the two points of the lips like that. And you can see I've got a little bit of an overlap like that. And I'm going to pin that in. Let's pin that there and pin that there a second. And then this one, I've got to remember. Nope. You want it with the fabric right side up so that when you fold it over the pocket and you look from the other side you don't see the you see the outside of the fabric the right side yeah and you just want to overlap it just it, i mean a minuscule bit like that okay and then again pin, 
pin that in there, Ooh, pin one there, and another one the other side. Okay, like that. So when we flip over, you can see you've got those lips, and it, that, there's your opening there. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to top stitch all the way round this again, about an eighth of an inch. Okay. Uh, it's if it, uh, it's as if it knows you want to touch us. Oh, tell me about it, love. The minute I start to talk, my nose starts. It's ridiculous. So I've kept it on. Uh, no, so I've put my stitch. No, I haven't kept it on. That's a lie. I've put my stitch back up to about two. Okay, and then we're going to just stitch round about an eighth of an inch away. Go slow and steady on this bit. You don't want anything to move. All the way around the shape. Like I said, it doesn't have to be lips. It could be any shape, and you could do this little dented pocket. Okay. So I started to say about a challenge post before I started sneezing. Um, I'm going to put a challenge post on. In honour of my birthday, I'm going to do a little challenge post. So I want you to show me things you've either had for your birthday or things you've made for somebody's birthday. So something you've either sewn or knitted or maybe you're a baker. Um, I'll put a picture up. Hang on, that pin's going to be right in the way. Let's move that one now. I'll put a, a challenge post up and you need to comment with a picture, please. And I'd like uh, a picture of something you've either had for your birthday. It doesn't have to be crafty related. Maybe it's something funny. Maybe it's something random. Uh, something you've had as a birthday present or something you've given as a birthday present. Okay, so I've stitched all the way around there now. There we go. Stitched all the way around. And you can see there's the, there's the lips. They're all attached now. I can talk to you like that. Sing. <laughs> Take those pins out. Now you're never going to see this because we're going to flip this now so don't worry this edge is going to come to meet that one there like that and then this is a weeny bit tricky okay we need to stitch this so we need to stitch the top edge and down the sides all right but you don't want to stitch it to the outer you've got to move it out of the way so we're going to add some clips to this edge here and one to this edge so you can see i'm just pulling up the pocket pieces we're going to stitch down the two sides and then the top edge is tricky because you've only got a little bit but you just need to go slow and steady and stitch along that top bit but i'm going to start with the sides first okay what are we making i'm making one of these marion i'm making a little wah wah pouch it's got little kisses for everybody it's got a little pocket on the front um right so back over here so uh so go on then as we're talking presents and stuff what Tell me, what's the strangest present you've ever get, gotten? Have you ever had a present and thought, oh, I don't know what that person was thinking? Or, you know, it's like completely random. <laughs> and you think, no, that, I don't understand where their brain was come. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's always, I'm always grateful to get any presents. But sometimes you do, not this time, not this year, this year I've had some lovely things. But sometimes you do get some things and you think, oh, oh, I'm not sure what that's about. <laughs> There we go. So get that out of the way. I'm going to stitch down this one. I have had a few strange presents from some relatives in the past. Very, very strange things. Some things that have been donated immediately to uh, charity shops, <laughs> which sounds very awful, doesn't it? But I've never used them. Never ever used them. So what about you guys? Is it right? So you can see this. I'm just going to do the top now. I'm just going to pull this back as best I can. And we're just going to very carefully stitch along there. If you want to make your lip a bit bigger, make it four inches instead of three, you can do. I, I, you can do this if you're careful. But if you're going to struggle with this bit, then just make your lip, the bent bit of the lip, a weeny bit bigger. You've just got to sort of take it steady and make sure you're pulling that top piece right out of the way. There we go. So anybody got any funny presents they've ever received? Okay, right. Back over here, you sew with the pocket on top and find it easier. Oh, fair enough, lovely. Yeah, that's a good idea. 
Uh, my mother-in-law once gave my daughter-in-law a car air freshener. <laughs> oh, bless. <laughs> right, now give that a really good press. Yeah, Joyce, actually th thinking about that, it probably would be easier if it was sewn down here, wouldn't it? It would have been out of the way. That's a good point. I will think about that next time. Right, give that a really good press, both sides. And there's my little pocket. As you can see now, you've got, you can actually see the outer in there. And you've got a nice deep pocket happening. Right, so now we can actually make the, she's 88, oh bless. Oh, sweet really, isn't it? Right, so the method of doing this zip without can you see on these little zipper tabs it hasn't but bunched up here because i very often get this horrible like manky little mess here this was really nice and flat okay so i literally i saw it on youtube a couple of days ago and i was like oh that i'm gonna try that and it worked so first thing you've got to do is you're going to mark your seam allowance on this top edge now my seam allowance is three eighths of an uh, an, uh three eighths of an inch so i'm going to mark a little mark here I'm going to make a mark at three eighths on the outer, okay, like that. Make sure it's you know a removable pen, and then I'm going to do the same on this side. So I've got a little mark to follow. Now it doesn't matter what size your seam allowance is. If you're using a half inch seam allowance, mark in half an inch. Whatever your seam allowance is, that's what you need to mark. And then you want to measure between those two marks. Now mine is nine and a quarter okay so i need a zip that is nine and a quarter inches long so obviously you don't get them at nine and a quarter you'd buy a 10 inch and we're going to cut it down that's so you got a piece lily from a friend or that everyone knows i'm a killer of all things plants the piece lily had to be rescued for a few times oh bless um, when she sees my granddaughter she always gives her a toilet roll it cracks her up oh bless <laughs> oh. right first things first I'm going to chop, I'm, I've got a continuous zip so I can cut my, my zip pretty accurately. But if you're buying just a standard zip, you probably want to buy a 10 inch and cut it down. So first things first, you want a nice sharp edge, okay? And then your zip ends are going to be whatever width your zip is, which is one inch, which is that way. And then four times your seam allowance. So four times three and three eighths of an inch is one and a half. So that's why these are one inch by one and a half. Okay. So I'm going to start by. Next thing I'm going to do is make sure my zipper pull is down. And I want to. I'm going to make, mark it just a bit bigger than nine. I'm going to do nine and a half just so I've got a weeny bit of wiggle room. I'm going to mark it here at nine and a half, like that. And I'm going to cut it off just a wee bit bigger. So I'm going to pull that zipper pull down. And again, giving myself a wee bit of wiggle room, I'm just going to cut it off a tiny bit bigger. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to start by the, not the marked end, the non-marked end. I'm going to put it right sides together with the zipper end. And I'm going to stitch across on my seam allowance. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm so sorry. My nose has suddenly started, literally. Um, your girlfriend once gave you some spore fig and cotton wool balls. You never worked out why. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that is an odd present. Oh, my dad. I love the smell of spore fig. And my dad, because he was a mechanic, he used to use it all the time. And my grandpa. Oh, it's very, um, like a sentimental smell, that for me. So I've done my seam allowance of three eighths of an inch. And I'm going to go back over just to really secure it like that. There we go. <laughs> I wonder why she gave you that. I wonder if it was it a conversation that you've maybe had about something? <laughs> Very random present. Right. I'm not going to come off camera a second. I'm not going to swap just for this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push that up now, like that. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Flip it over. I'm going to flip. Actually, no, let me come over to the overhead. It's easier. So. I've stitched my three eighths. I'm going to flip it up like that. I'm going to fold this end to the edge of the zip like that. And then over again. Okay. Now don't worry about top stitching this at the moment. All that's going to happen later. So just pop a pin in there. Okay. Just hold that flat for now like that. Okay. 
Then we're going to put the zipper. What we're going to do now is we're going to get the zipper pull relatively close. Get a clip to hold that together. Come on. I'm being all fingers and thumbs now, aren't I? And I'm just going to put a couple of basting stitches across here to hold that zip in place. So nobody's ever been given, I know, uh, a frying pan by the husband for their birthday. Some really random present or, although I think Swarfiga and Cotton Buds, that's very random. <laughs> Anybody, you know, never been given, you know, some random? There we go. Couple of basting stitches. And then I want the other zipper pull. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. It didn't flip over. There we go. Sorry, I've just done some basting stitches across there. Now I'm going to put the other zipper pull on that line. Okay, like that. And then we're going to stitch down on the seam allowance with the seam allowance now. Just like we did the other side. Like that. Back over and back over again. Okay. Back over here. So I'm going to cut it off this excess zip now. Like that. And then fold it up like that, just like we did the other side. Hold that one down to there and then over. Okay, like that. And either put a pin or a clip in there. Okay, so I'm just going to pin that in. Uh, you had a folding coat hanger once as a present from hubby. It did have its own case too. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a very odd present, Sandra. Did you ask him what he was thinking? I'd have asked him what he was thinking. Now, hopefully, if I've done this right, which I haven't, what have I done wrong? That should fit in those lines. What have I done wrong? Why is that not fitting? That should be there. Did I not cut it down properly? Hang on. Hang on, guys. Yeah, nine and a quarter. That should measure nine and a quarter. What did I do? It doesn't. It measures nine and three quarters. Damn it. Right. Hang on, guys. I'm just going to have to... I'm not doing it that end. I'm just going to have to chop a bit off and redo this a second. What did I do there? Did I not... Did I not measure that right? Nine... Oh, that's why. When I make, measured the marks, I did nine and three quarters, not nine and a quarter. Oh, you silly girl. Right, hang on. Two seconds, guys. <laughs> a folding coat hanger. Oh, that's an odd one. Oh, do you know what? It's not worth it. Not worth trying to unpick it. I'm going to chop it off. Ugh, I didn't measure nine and a quarter. I measured my nine and three quarters. That was silly of me. Um, okay, let me just... Measure that bit, chop that off where it is, and we're just going to cut a new, new very quickly cut a new, um, what's the word, zip tab. For that tiny little piece of fabric, I'm not messing around trying to cut that. <laughs> Let's cut a new little, I wonder if I could find my rotary cutter, where's it gone? Yeah, there it is, one by one and a half. Let's just cut another one real quick and redo that. That'll teach me to not be reading comments and not look at my, um, not look at the uh, measurements properly he said i'm difficult to buy for it was many many years ago he hasn't done that since why would you need a folding coat hanger though that's that's a very random thing i understand like maybe you know a man who travels a lot and he's got a suit jacket maybe he would need it to i don't know hang his suit jacket up at most hotels or you know, even a bed and breakfast has got a couple of hangers in the wardrobe. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love how random that is. There we go. That's the right size now. Okay, let's double check. Like that. Like that. Oh, come on. Like that. And then over. Put the put the clip on. Double check that that's no nine and a quarter. I did my measurement right this time. Yes, I did. <laughs> so, now I've done this bit right. Uh, you can't think of any old presents. You're happy with anything that you can open. And me, I love unwrapping a present. There's always that excitement, isn't there? About, oh, it ripped the paper off. There we go. It fits in the lines now. There's the lines. And that's just touching, which is exactly what I want. 
Uh, red toilet seat for the first year we were together. You've always hated it. You've been married 50 years this May. His cho choices since have been much better. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, lovely. Right, now we're going to treat this basically like a normal pouch. So the zip, zipper pull goes face down, needs to touch the outer like that. Take that off. Now I'm lining up with those little marks that I made like that. And I'm going to take that one off and put that one on there. Now, the lady who was doing this tutorial does two lots of stitching. So I'm going to go with that, okay? Because it worked rather than me going, ah, yeah, we can stick the lining on as well. So you're going to not stitch this little bit here, okay? You're going to stitch from the zipper pull all the way down and finish at the, the zipper end. Don't stitch into this seam allowance bit, okay? So you're gonna stitch on a quarter, no, I do need to put my zipper foot on now. Flip this over. It's the thing I love about this machine is how quick it is to change your feet. It's like literally seconds and it's done uh, 4D, here we go. And then move my needle over. So you wanna stitch really close to the edge on this. So I'm gonna start at that zipper pull, just there. And I'm ba basically I'm basting this, so I put my stitch up to about three and a half, uh, three, two and a half, and I'm going to do about a quarter of an inch away from the, the edge of the zip, this edge, okay? An eighth to a quarter inch away. There we go, all the way down. It's basically just basting it in place for the first bit. There we go. Get that zipper pull out of the way, stay with your, your needle down all the way along make sure that zipper pull zipper end is nice and then stop a red toilet seat oh my gran had an avocado ba bathroom suite it was the most disgusting color disgusting color you also bought me a swiss army knife for christmas you have that that's quite useful it is quite useful that that is absolutely quite useful you're then going to get the back of your zipper pouch and you're going to do exactly the same you're going to just mark on the three eighths of an inch just there and again on this side oh <laughs> throwing that round three eighths of an inch like that and do exactly the same with the zip like we did here yeah a swiss army knife at least that's vaguely useful but oh bless him what was he thinking with a folding hat coat hanger so again i'm lining it up with those marks i just made Add in some the clips again, clip in that side. You love a Swiss, uh, they are incredibly useful. Incredibly useful. There we go. I'm just gonna pop a couple of pins in, keep that all nice and neat, and do exactly the same. We're gonna stitch down there again. Let's double check that that all went in okay. I think it did. Yes, it did. Stitch down there now, okay? So back over we go stitch down the other side. Again, about a quarter of an inch. You know. Let's get that zipper pull out of the way. Pull it past the foot. There we go. Nearly there. All the way down to that bit there and just back stitch. It is the thought that counts. Absolutely it is. It is. No, I'm, I'm with you there, darling. If, uh... <laughs> there we go. Right. So what you've got. Ah, no, I missed it. I did. I thought I had. <laughs> so this is another good reason to baste in place, because if you miss a bit, you can go back and rebaste it. So I'm going to do that. You've got a friend who's very picky about presents. He would rather his own stuff. He'd rather his own stuff. So he asked for wrapped empty boxes so he has presents to open on christmas day fair enough that's slightly random but you know okay <laughs> it's not really the spirit of uh, uh present giving though is it i suppose <laughs> really not in the spirit of present giving i don't like anything you like that reminds me from Re is rachel from friends i don't like anything you could possibly buy me there you go, got it now. Okay, so your zip zips in nicely. You're not gonna top stitch or anything at the moment. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add the lining on. So you're gonna trip, pretend this fabric isn't here, okay? So you're gonna add in, oh, one of the lining pieces, not both. 
okay so i'm going to add that on like that all right now this time we're going to stitch relatively close to the teeth and we are going to start at the end and finish at the end okay that's a bit there i'm just going to actually i'm just going to move that zipper pull in a bit so it's not starting right at the end it's much easier to have it start in halfway or so like that right hang on if i put done that right no i haven't sorry see i'm not with it today not with it right hang on. there we go that's what i want to do <laughs> right no it's not hang on what have i done here so that needs to go on oh my goodness what am i doing guys like that there it is and then when that flips back oh there we go right i've got it now so this edge needs to go down like that that's it <laughs> i got myself all confused then this is why i don't do zips very often i have to just double check myself all the time so that one's going to go on like that but i am going to go end to end there we go and this time I want to get relatively close to the teeth. So I'm just going to go edge of foot, edge of zip foot against the edge of fabric. So it's relatively close to the teeth. And we're going to stitch all the way down. Like that. Just line that back up because it's moved a wee bit. There we go. You can feel the zipper pull here. So I want to get that out of the way. Let's move it past, get my finger in there. Got it. Reline up and away we go again, all the way to the end. Got there in the end, didn't I? <laughs> it was a bit of a mess. <laughs> all the way down. Does anyone else mess up their zips all the time? I, I do. I don't mess them up all the time, but I do struggle with them sometimes. I get my. I get in a real pickle with. There we go. So that one's going that way, which is right. That's correct. So I need this one to go on like that so right side up everything down so when it's stitched yes that's correct so the other side lining up lining piece face down like that and again stitch all the way along if i completely confuse you guys or are you with me still because i confused myself then i really did We do, um, I mean, I've told you guys before, we do like Secret Santa for Christmas where we stopped buying for all of the kids. And now like the older kids and like, me and Phil, we just um, we just pick somebody out of a hat and we buy just for them. We just find that everyone's got so much stuff, haven't they? Nobody really knows what they want. And um, we're all very, very lucky to, you know, not have to be too worried and stuff. So where's that pin? There, there's the zipper pull there. Um, and it makes makes you really think about that one person and what you're going to get them so all always right side together yeah i get it wrong every time lovely i have to really think about it i've got a real mental block with that that's why i love the zifty doodons i my brain just goes Bleh, what am i doing <laughs> what am i doing <laughs> right got it right there we go so I'm hoping that's right. It's stone like it now if it's not. So that goes out. And then when I open those out, yes, I got it right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is just give this a good press. So I have to think about it for a second then, though. Whew. Really had to get my brain go wrapped, around, oh, wrapped around that. So give that a bit of a, just do the zip up a second. Give that a bit of a finger press. And give it a proper press as well like that and this side as well there we go all the way down okay and then again just on the lining make sure everything's all lined up still press that out like that this side give it a good Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to top stitch because as you can see, this bit here still on the zipper tab still hasn't been stitched down. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to top stitch all in a box, basically. So we're going to start here. We're going to go all the way down. We're going to go across this little piece here, all the way back down there, across that little piece there, and join back up. And what that does is stitch down that little bit there that isn't stitched. Okay. So it's not just me then. Oh, good oh. <laughs> Glad it's just not, not just me that gets confused. So I'm going to keep my zipper foot on with this because actually I can get really nice and close with my top stitching. I'm going to go up to about three on my machine for top stitching as well. You could do this in decorative thread, whatever you like, guys. And actually, you can get past the zipper pull without too much difficulty as well. All the way down to the there, like that. And over we go, that bit there, down this side. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down. We're nearly there, we're nearly finished. Over we go this side. And then join back up. So, I'm hoping this works now because it worked really well last night. <laughs> oh, didn't cut my thread. There we go. So, got something that looks like that now. Now you're going to just do the normal thing that you do when you do as a, a pouch. Going to put your outers together and you're going to put your linings together okay and you want the zip to push in towards the lining so make sure that that zip is open otherwise this doesn't work like that match up those edges so make sure can you the zip a bit push it in towards the lining like that and match up the outers just like that okay Ooh, hang on just going to open up the seam. There we go, like that. So I've got the seam allowance going opposite sides as well. But I've pushed the zip towards the lining. Again, I'm going to push the zip towards the lining this side, like that. Push it in. Open that out. Open that out. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Like that. Put a clip on that one. And then just line everything up. So like that, a couple of pins in this side. Get that lined up, come on. There we go. I do, I talk to the fabric, don't I? I don't know why I talk to the fabric. I've just, you saying that, Joyce, I'm like, I really do. I chat away to it, no, for all the time. <laughs> and this side as well, let's get some more pins. Now what we're gonna do is obviously we're gonna leave a gap in the line in here so that we can turn through. But when we get to where this, these seams are here, you don't want to hit the zipper pull at all, which is why we left the seam allowance. So this you're going to do a little bit by feel. So I can feel that that's where my zipper tabs are. So my stitching must stay this side. Don't catch those zipper tabs, okay? So I'm going to start here all the way around and finish here leave in sort of a three three and a half inch gap okay so i can turn through is the pockets to be sewn down no no this pocket here the pocket is um the pocket's completely sealed now i've set, stitched at the top and round there you're not gonna you're not gonna hit the pocket at all okay so back over to there let's start here now quickly change your foot again because i want the right seam allowance and there and back to the center okay so we're going to go so back stitch there you also talk to machine as if it's another person responsible for any mistakes and not use error oh absolutely i tell her she's a good girl when she's when it's right and i blame her for everything when it goes wrong oh stupid thing i don't know why it's not working today half the time it's user error isn't it love okay all the way down so when i get to this binder bit here just remember you you're keeping that seam allowance you don't touch the zipper ends which hopefully i didn't if you did this doesn't work if i did this didn't work <laughs> okay all the way down there. you could sew the pocket down if you wanted to um 
Joyce, just thinking about it, but you don't need to. We've got again, thank goodness for catch up. Hello, your machine doesn't like zip. The machine nearly always breaks. Oh, um, I never, to be honest, I never ever use metal zips. I only ever use um, plastic ones because you can stitch over those. Right, I'm just coming up to that bit again. I just want to make sure that it's going through and I've not caught those zipper pulls. Zipper, I keep calling them zipper pulls, zipper ends, sorry. My brain is not working this evening. Too full of cake. The lovely Annie made me a cake, bless her. It was very delicious. There we go. Right, okay, I'm just going to double check that I didn't, no, I didn't hit it that side. And I didn't hit it that side. <laughs> Hopefully this has worked then. <laughs> Basically what I'm doing is making sure that I, I'm just sewing in the seam allowance. I'm not hitting those zipper ends. Okay. Um, yeah, I if I use the only few times I've used a metal um, zip, Marion, um, I broke I break a needle, so I don't use them. I'm I'm scared of cat. I just use uh, use plastic ones. <laughs> there we go. I can see people sew over metal zips all the time, and I go, I don't know how you don't break your needle. There we go. So just clipping off those corners, and then we can turn it right side out. And then hopefully get rid of those bits there. This has worked. Okay, now I definitely left the zip open, which I did, otherwise I couldn't get this pulled through very easily. And put it all through the gap. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can always watch these on catch up, Grace. Never mind about forgetting, lovely. You know, people have got better things to do than listen to me waffle on half the time. Come on. Oh, I don't want to come through. I should have left a slightly bigger gap. Push through. There we go. Okay. And then I want to get my fingers in there and turn these corners, push these corners out like that. And like that. Like also on the lining. There. Use nylon zips. Must be something wrong. <laughs> you hate zips. Oh. Zippity doo zum zips all the way. I haven't got to go anywhere near the zip then, love. Okay, I'm just going to give that little turning gap a quick press. I will stitch that up in a moment. Okay, but then your lining's going to go inside. And this is hopefully... Now, normally, this is what happens. I get this horrible mess here. But the lady did this trick by using that seam allowance. She pushed... She got a turner. She pushed it right underneath like that there we go so can you see the turn is actually almost coming through and that is nice and flat and then do the same this side so you've got to get get it right in under there and push it right up like that so i can actually i don't know if you can see it but i can actually see the very end of the turner just poking out there there you go like that that's you want that to happen you want the turner to come through that teeny teeny tiny little gap and what that can you see how lovely and flat that is now it's not all bunched up which you go like that which is exactly what i did on this one you can see you can just because i i moved in the the width of the seam allowance it goes nice and flat so you need to give this a really good press like that and like that a nice press a bit of a spritz with some best press as well there we go like that and there's my little my little pouch okay so i've got a really lovely flat pouch zip is all nicely inset i'm so chuffed with that because i'm not great at zips but i've got this lovely deep pocket here which would you know, fit all sorts of things in. You can get all sorts in there. You can get little bits. Now, I did wonder about things falling out, but it's, they don't fall out, which is great because of this vented flap here. You know, they don't fall out of there. I'm not sure I'd put money in there, maybe. <laughs> but, you know, you could, I suppose, you could add a little piece of ribbon, couldn't you? Little skinny ribbon and tie a little bow. That would be quite cute in the middle of the lips or if it was a heart or something. But I just thought it was a cute, fun little idea to show you how to do this vented pocket thing. 
you know just something a bit different really easy quick pouch i just need to sew up that line in and it's all done and you know different fabrics look like different things basically you could do any shape you wanted on the outside you've just got to make sure that these folded pieces of fabric are wide enough when when ironed in half to give you know a little bit up here and a little bit there and and go across the width of the aperture whatever you want to want to do so nice oh a makeup bag yeah how cute would that be with lips you could put you know cute for christmas put some lipsticks or something in there a lip liner and stuff you could put a little piece of um like ribbon and a button on there you know if you've got if i got a red button like a red sparkly button or something with a little bit you know to keep it shut if you want but genuinely you put stuff in and it, they you know chuck stuff in there and you can give it a good shake and they, they don't come out it doesn't come out I'm trying as hard as i can it won't come out so because <laughs> of that vent it works really oh now i can't actually get it out come on there we go <laughs> you know so so that's it for tonight my darlings sorry it was a bit of a long one uh my a bow ideas for a chatterbox yeah put a little bit of ribbon either side tie a bow I'm like oh, shush. <laughs> that is a cute idea i like that <laughs> and then like sh you could have that little bow tying up the lips <laughs> um lovely that's it for me tonight my pad thai is going to be here any moment so i'm going to go and enjoy that with josh and go and see drew and beth for a little bit and we sarah will be here tomorrow at one o'clock okay she will be back at one um i'm going to be setting up for ponty patches if you are in the area if you're anywhere around abacadam please come and see us over friday and saturday it's a beautiful venue really lovely trip out so please do come and see us if not shop will be shut friday and saturday i'm afraid um we just haven't got anybody to have it so um that's that um and i will be back on tuesday next week my loves uh so yeah take care and we'll see you really soon um, I will enjoy my pad thai. Thank you very much. <laughs> thanks, I mean. Thank you, everybody. And thanks for all my birthday wishes on Facebook. That was really, really lovely of you all. Take care, my darlings. Bye.